Yeah, I think um, I always wanted to be a journalist, and the natural thing is to then go for the Afrikaans newspaper, because I come from a rural area, the Orange Free State. Um, I grew up on the Bible and De Volksblatt, which was our local Afrikaans newspaper. So it was quite a natural thing for me to do, although I, I uh, even at that young age, didn't entirely believe in, uh, in the National Party and, and what they were standing for. But uh, I think it was an excellent school. I went to work for De Berger, which is the oldest uh, sort of mouthpiece of the National Party in the Cape after I left Stellenbosch University. And I worked for um, that group for 11 years. I also went to Parliament for them, and uh, I was the Namibian Bureau Chief. I think, in a sense, it... Uh, people often ask me, you know, especially with this paper now, did you have a conversion on the, on the road to Damascus kind of thing? Um, and for the first time, apart from being mildly irritated by the question, as if, you know, no Afrikaner should feel the way we do, it makes you think, what, what, did, what made you change your mind? Uh, what, what made you think differently from the, the majority of, of your, your, your ethnic group? And uh, I think working for the Afrikaans newspapers had a lot to do with it. Obviously, you had certain questions as a, as a young person. I went to the army and went to Stellenbosch University, and so you, you have certain questions. But I think the real decision um, to change camps, so to speak, came while I was working as an Afrikaans journalist. 